second favorite Super Nintendo game is number seven. Mortal Kombat 2. Mortal Kombat was first popular on the arcade before it came onto the home consoles. My friend Bobby and I used to run I used to run this game all the time. My friend Bobby would come over and we'd play this all the time because he had a friend, Floyd, who had the internet, which was rare back then. The internet had just come out, so there wasn't many people that had it. And he got all the fatalities. So we used to practice the fatalities on each other. I expect to get very far because I never did this game. I like the background so I Sound and graphics are pretty good for this game. You gotta be kidding me. It's like everything, every time I try to kick, he just happens to duck at the same time. See, he blocked there. I mean, no human could react that fast. I don't know any of the fatalities. I'm playing a whole lot of this game. I also have got the original Mortal Kombat and Super Nintendo. I also have Combat Trilogy on the PlayStation. Both games can be seen on my channel. Yeah, I probably should have got the tell these before making this video. Make it a little more interesting, but it'd be a lot funner if I could get a second player to play games with. Then we start worrying about fatalities and all that fun stuff. I wish you could switch players at any time. See, the original Mortal Kombat, they took blood out and all that because there were complaints about it was too violent for kids. Mortal Kombat 2 brought it back, brought the blood back. 
Now imagine if the parents back in them days could see today's games. Grand Theft Auto games. See, around this time, Super Nintendo games weren't necessarily for just kids anymore. You started getting teenagers that were playing it. And as the graphics and gameplay got more exciting, you had adults getting into it. So the game started getting a little more violent, a little more like NC-17 ratings and very worse. This is my favorite level though, trees. Same thing they do with Street Fighter 2. Why don't they just take the character out? It's like kind of like the NHL games by Electronic Arts. You can actually play against your own team. But at least when you do a full full season, they don't have scheduled against your own team. So let's say I pick the Chicago Blackhawks. Player 2 or the computer can also be the Chicago Blackhawks. I would like to switch characters, but I'd have to die to do that. See this one, there's, you can do your own. Each character's got like two fatalities. Let's go with Fallout's victory, but... Anyways, each character's got his own two fatalities, and then there's certain levels, or certain stages like this one, where it's got a bonus one that all of them can do. You uppercut them at the end and they go falling in the pit. That's not it. I think I'm going to go ahead and get beat by her. Because I want to switch characters. Because I think with Kun, if I pick Kun Lao, I think I know his fatality in one of the pits. I don't know if it's the acid pit or the one we just seen, but I think it's forward, 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 Y. He does an uppercut and go flying. Hopefully I get 
at that board though. Eventually he'd come around. I don't remember his moves. There. Back forward and B to throw your hat. acid pit where he does it. Look, there's Kano in the background on the other side of Sonya. From the first game. Oh, here's the pit. The acid pit, anyway. Now watch me get beat. First game they only had seven characters. They had Johnny Cage, Sub Zero, Scorpion, Sonya, Kano. And Liu Kang. Okay, that didn't work. See, and if you fail, you gotta wait until you get all the way back around to it. I have beaten the first game. He's just like... See, I'm swinging at him and it's not doing anything. Cheated. Kung Lao cheats, he doesn't win. See, every time I sit there and swing at him, it doesn't do anything. The thing to do is have the character, their characters do fatalities on me. They should have like a special scene where you can just see fatalities. See, that's just cheating. He knows exactly when I'm going to attack. It's like the minute I push my attack button, he ducks the exact same time. No human can react as fast as the computer. I'm not going to be playing this all day. I want Sub Zero. If you feel Sub Zero will do Scorpion, that'll be my last character. See, like, look at that. He knows exactly one, one duck. Right when he gets next to me. Cool. 
buttons he gets like 10 hits on me and I get none on him. The game's fun until it gets to a certain point and they start cheating. See look at that he dodged it as I was doing it. They have like the fatalities music, sounding music there, but I don't think we reacted fast enough to it. Okay, it's probably going to be the end of it. Downright disgusting. This is supposed to be easy difficulty. This is the way it always is, though. Look, you see? Now, how can any human keep up with that? Cool, at least we got to see Fatality, but... See, this is, this is probably the reason why I never got Mortal Kombat 3, because... When you get games that cheat, it's just not fun. I mean, you, you like games to be challenging, but it's also supposed to be a game, which means it's supposed to be fun. Oh, well, I ran out of continues anyway. So, I mean, if I wanted to challenge it, was that challenging? I'd just go to college. But... Some of the original Nintendo games, at least they were fair, but you get these other games where you play up to a certain point and they start making it really hard. So, that was Mortal Kombat, hope you enjoyed it. It's more a lot more fun with two players. Hopefully if I can get someday I'll get a second player and we can do some two player games because I got a lot of games that can also be played two players. So I'll see you in the next video.